This is the first episode of my shortcut tutorial series. Today we're going to be briefly discussing filters. Filters are the main source of editing used for video and audio, and they can do anything from cropping, adding text, fixing volume, changing brightness, and so on. To get started, we're going to click this filters button right here to open up the filters menu. And now that I got a clip loaded up, to apply a filter you want to select the clip, make sure it's highlighted in red here, and then click this plus. We have a lot of options here. Let's look at the video first. So let's say I wanted to add some text. So let's scroll down and find the text filter right here. But now this text is being applied to this whole clip, this whole four minute clip. And I don't want that. Maybe I just want something at the beginning to say like, hey, how's it going? What we can do is actually remove this clip, remove that filter, I mean. And we're gonna cut this clip here by pressing S by default to have this kind of section. Now we're gonna add the filter to here and we can scale it and move it. That's not too important for this lesson. I just want to show you some general functionality of the filters. So now that we want, now that we have this here, maybe we also want to boost the audio. It's a bit quiet, so then we can go to audio and find the volume filter. And we'll increase that a bit. Let's say uh, we ha want this exact same setup with the same text and the same audio somewhere else in the video. Instead of trying to remake it number by number, what we can do is we can get the other clip we wanted to have on. And come over here and click this copy the filters button. And you can come to the new clip that you want to paste it onto and then simply click the paste button. And these are the exact same filters we had from earlier. A lot of these filters have their own customizable features, but I won't get into those right now. For ease of access to the filters you use the most, what you can do is favor them by clicking the star. So I'll quickly go through some of my favorite filters that I find useful. Brightness and contrast, fade in, fade out, those are all fairly explanatory as well as inverted colors. Opacity is a nice one to have. Uh, rotation and scale can be used to rotate images and also uh, like zoom in on images. Size and position can be used to adjust the position of the, of the image. And then I also have text here. And the audio, I don't use audio as much, but we have the fade ins, we have the volume, and we have mute. And a nice effect to have is a reverb, though that is a bit complicated to use at first. Now that you have your favorite filters picked out, you're ready to get started. I recommend experimenting on what certain filters do and how you can use them, but on my next video, I'm going to go more in depth on specific filters. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.